What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. And uh, I think, like a lot of uh, gamers out there, I've recently been exposed to Splitgate either via obviously a lot of content creators making content on it or trying it out themselves. But it's, of course, a first person arena shooter that's in beta at the moment. I actually just want to take the opportunity to give Dave the Mantis Gaming a shout out who suggested this to me I would say weeks ago and after trying twice to get into it and facing long queue times I kind of like forgot about it a little bit but boy oh boy am I glad that I came around to trying this out again um this game especially being someone that came up with you know Doom and Quake and Unreal Tournament this really is just like the right slice of that kind of gaming like arena shooting that I was really missing and and it's such a such a fun experience to play because not only is it an extremely competent shooter that uh, has fantastic guns great movement all of that it has this sort of portal mechanic that's built into it so in a nutshell this would be like um, taking an arena shooter like Quake or like uh, Unreal Tournament as I've mentioned but then adding like the portal mechanic from a game like portal into it um of course this opens up a whole new dimension to the the the, the gunplay in the game and and i definitely found myself playing like the first five six seven even though there's a very you know competent tutorial at the beginning that explains the portal mechanics to you and basically how it works and then you can essentially make a portal anywhere but there's these specific you know looking walls that you can make portals in and then sort of go through I spent the first couple of maps just literally playing this just like deathmatch just like a normal like a shooter experience and going through it and then uh once i started experimenting with the portals my mind was blown because it just created this entire new dimension to the shooting and kind of like getting around people that are camping a certain position or have the high ground over you or anything like that so really impressive um and and honestly i can just say that it was probably the best decision that i made <laughs> was to to actually try it out and 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 just go ahead and and give it another shot maybe a little bit off time off peak time so for me what ended up working because i i kind of always ran up against a half an hour to a 45 to in one case a 90 minute queue to actually get into a game so what ended up working out for me was to actually try it out during like the i would say the morning hours and being in europe that you know got me to dodge quite a bit of the queue and i was able to get in there but very competent shooter with great gunplay it of course has the all of the 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 the, the accoutrement that you would have with a game like this that is free to play at the moment so it has a a track with unlockables much like a season pass or something like that there is a premium currency that you can purchase for real money which you can use to buy cosmetics with so of course there's no pay to win aspects here anything like that but you can definitely kit your character out in a uh, you know a specific way that kind of like puts you apart from everybody else but i really do enjoy it i'm looking forward to sinking i haven't played this nearly enough to you know create any form of like a final review or anything like that but there's enough here that makes me want to come back and play it again there's not in my mind right now i can't think of anything uh at the moment that exists in the pure pvp shooting genre that incorporates this portal mechanics and something like that and then basically just you know works like this game so it's almost in a weird way uh it's how i would imagine halo pvp to be in a way just because of the way that the game looks and everything like that and, and i wonder if it doesn't borrow a little bit from that as an idea it definitely borrows from i think unreal tournament at least uh you know in in its look in a little way and everything like that but just thoroughly enjoy playing this and, and i'm actually I, I find myself wanting to you know kind of play it all the time and really the only thing that's holding me back from playing it more is uh, this uh you know waiting time situation because of course the game is kind of blowing up right now so you have more and more people trying to get into it and they are very much and when i say they i mean the developers of this game are very much concentrating on keeping the experience uh very consistent very fluid with no connectivity issues for those that are playing so their emphasis is on best service for those that are connected and not letting as many people 
you know jump in at once as possible and then kind of like destabilizing it for everybody else which i do think is a good idea i commend them for sticking to this of course they could just kind of like open up the floodgates to everybody and i'm sure then you know kind of would spoil the experience for 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 all the other players that are actually on there already so i think this needs to organically grow and it needs to obviously also as this becomes more popular it's gonna you know afford them with more opportunities as they sell the premium currency and all of that to obviously you know increase capacity and allow more people into the game bearing in mind this is of course only a beta so i also do have to uh, commend them on the fact that they have this extremely active uh twitter account which they've now branched out since to like a split gate status uh which basically allows um you to go at any time and and see okay look i'm looking at a 15 minute or a half an hour uh waiting time before i get into games anything like that but yeah i just nothing but love for this game i think it's very cool um if anything i'm i'm i'm, I'm sad that it took me this long to come around to it because i definitely think by now i would have had you know uh at least 40 50 60 hours in it because of just how much fun it is it's one of those things right like like you'll go like okay or at least for me because there's like daily quests and everything like that i'll be like okay i'm just gonna log in and i'm gonna do three matches and i'm just gonna get my daily quest done and then before i know i've done like seven eight nine matches and i'm like shit i've got something else to do but i just gotta get like two or three more matches in me so it's really good i really enjoy it a lot and uh, i can highly recommend it to any shooter fan out there especially obviously a pvp shooter fan because this is exactly what it is it is not got any single player per se or anything like that but definitely go and check it out you've got nothing to lose it's free you don't have to pay a single cent and i guarantee you won't be disappointed but that's it for split gate um thank you so much for joining especially if you made it this far let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this out like i'm like the late guy to the party so it could be likely that you've already played this for a while let me know what your favorite parts of the game is but more importantly than that just have a fantastic morning a great afternoon and a great evening wherever you are and until next video fucking cheers they want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now.